I can tell you guys some things that helped me out and they might help you as well. So that's all this is about. I'm not claiming to be a professional at all. I'm not saying that these tips will help everybody, but these would help me. So they might help some other people. So what's going on everybody? Eric G Disc Golf here. Today we're gonna to be letting you in on a couple of secrets on how I pushed myself to 400 feet and what helped me a lot, okay? So this might not work for everybody, but this is what worked for me. So we're gonna share it with you guys, okay? So step number one, is film yourself. Get a little $20 tripod off of Amazon, take your phone out there and go film yourself. You don't have to post it anywhere, you don't have to show anybody, but it's gonna be a good reference for you to see what you're doing wrong. Watch your footwork, watch your upper body, watch it all. Slow-mo, everything like that, Do just film yourself. Trust me, I mean, I started this YouTube channel like four months into playing disc golf. I couldn't throw 300 feet. My first daily distance series was trying to throw 300 feet. I hit that within a week. I hit that goal within a week of me actually trying and filming myself and watching it back and going back and being like, what am I doing? You know, that's what really helped me big time. Number one thing was filming yourself. So an another very important thing, we're gonna put it at number two since I already did number one, but this might even be more important than the first step is your grip. Okay, you gotta really get a dial in on your grip. One way that I figure out how to grip my disc is this little groove right here in your hand, you're gonna to wanna to put the disc in that and roll it into your, into your hand here. These fingers underneath are gonna naturally kind of grip the disc like that. And now what do you do with this nut, with this finger on top? Do you leave it on the rim? No, 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 absolutely not. You're gonna wrap that finger around, but keep the knuckle on top. See how that, how that knuckle is still over the disc? You want it to be a tight grip. So that knuckle is still there, all the fingers, are on the underside of the disc on the rim like that. And my thumb is on top of my pointer finger so that I get a good pinch. Uh, when the disc comes out of your hand, you should be able to flick it out with just that. So you should be able to flick the disc out with just your pointer finger and your ring finger. And that's what's gonna give you that snap. You hear, my, you hear that in a lot, of my, a lot of my throws, that snap, that's where I get it from, is from that grip, that pinch grip. It really lets you grip into the disc and it's just comfortable for me. Now it might not be comfortable for you, so you can tweak it a little bit, make it a little bit more comfortable for you. If you don't want, you know, move that thumb around, but we're gonna get into that in another tip, why you shouldn't move that thumb around or why you should and how you can use that to affect the angle of your throat. But we're gonna get into that in a little bit. So yeah, putting your thumb right there over that pointer finger is really gonna allow the disc to snap out of your fingers like that. Now it might be a little bit easier for some people to do with like a 10 speed driver or even a fairway driver if you have smaller hands, but you want that to happen. You don't release the disc when it comes out of your hand. You're not letting it go like a Frisbee. You're not like throwing it, right? The disc is ripping out of my hands. I'm not letting it go. It's popping out on its own. When I pull it through this, this right here in this power pocket, it gets ripped out of my hands. That's what creates that snapping sound. So we're gonna demonstrate that here. I'll show you that snap. You guys can hear that snap on that disc. So that's gonna be it for tip two. So tip number three is gonna be what we kind of just previously mentioned on, that thumb placement. So what the thumb placement does for me in my throw personally, is if I put my thumb more towards the inside here, it makes me throw on more hyzer. Now, of course, I'm not gonna put it in the middle of the flight plate like that. It'd be like just a little bit off from where I would normally put it, but that's gonna make my disc come out on hyzer. I can't really, it's kind of hard for me to put my thumb on the inside of that rim and throw it on an Anheuser. So what do I do when I want to throw an Anheuser? I put my thumb to the very outside of the rim, like almost just throwing with the pads of my fingers and just having that disc kind of slip out. Of course, leaning back and leaning forward is also going to get you that hyzer, but that grip really kind of gets me into that motion. Just that, just move your thumb where, you know, if you throw too much hyzer right now, Try moving your thumb more to the rim. Just try it, try it out. I'm gonna throw a Banheiser shot and I'm just holding the disc like barely on the edge of the rim there. See, if I did that, like that same kind of pull through motion with my thumb more on the inside, it definitely would have came out on hyzer. So yeah, that's gonna be tip number three, changing the angle with the thumb placement. So my fourth tip for you, if you're trying to reach 400 feet, or if you're trying to reach 300 feet, or if you're just trying to improve your distance overall, is to throw flippier drivers. 
I know you might have heard this a lot, but it's true. Uh, if you're trying to throw this time-lapse 400 feet, it's going to be a lot harder to throw that than this, this to Hades 400 feet. I don't think I could even get this 400 feet. So stick to more understable disc. A Daedalus, a Hades, go pick yourself up a Thrasher. That purple disc that I just threw is a lightweight destroyer. You can go pick up one of those, a 163 gram star destroyer. They start out pretty beefy, but I literally used to just smack it on trees and like just just beat it up. You know what I'm saying? It will get flippier. So go go to go check your used bins. Go check, uh, go get a, a overstable disc out of the used bin that looks really beat up and looks flippy. Not a DX, not DX. And um, yeah, go check it out. I mean, this this uh, this Hades right here is 167 grams, and it's the Proto Hades, so that you know they're super domey and super flippy. And I mean, this thing is a 400 foot pumping machine. Now, is it good in the woods? Not so much because it does move a lot. But in an open air kind of environment like this, it's not super open. But yeah, check this out. Just throw that thing on hyzer pops up i mean that honestly did look like a pretty good golf line i'm not gonna lie it went dead straight popped up off on hyzer and it's just easy to throw so if you're if you're somebody who naturally throws on a little bit of hyzer like i do go pick yourself up a slightly understable disc it'll flip up for you turn and uh it's just gonna be way better for you to throw than something like time lapse or a halo destroyer if you're trying to get to 400 feet you can also throw fairway drivers. Fairway drivers are a little bit easier to throw. This is an Essence by Dismania in the Meta Plastic. It's pretty brand new, so it's not super flippy yet. See, and that's probably just as far as the Construct or the other discs that I was throwing. Here's a beat up Athena. If you find like an Athena or T-Bird in the used section, could be one of the more money discs you'll ever find. And that's why. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys learned a little something in this video. Let me know down in the comments if this video helped you at all. I got, I got plenty more tips and tricks that I can give you guys. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll, uh, we'll do another one like this. I also plan on doing a video with putting tips. So let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. I'm not great at putting. But I can tell you guys some things that helped me out. And they might help you as well. So... That's all this is about. I'm not claiming to be a professional at all. I'm not saying that these tips will help everybody, but these would help me. So they might help some other people. So I figured I would share the word and let you guys know what's up. Oh yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that I plan on starting a new daily series soon. We're gonna be doing um, one putt for every two subscribers that we have. So yeah, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Peace.